Natalie Jones and I am the librarian at our souk in Port Run for branches of Vancouver Island Regional Library and today for our next installment in our Rural Recommend series I wanted to talk about book recommendations for podcasts because if you're like me I love listening to podcasts especially on long drives or just when I'm um, being busy around my home and uh, yeah so I thought it'd be fun to talk about some uh, books by podcasters or related books that you might enjoy. So let's get started. The first one I have on my list is If You're a Fellow Murderino, which is from the podcast My Favorite Murder. Um, so we actually have uh, uh, Karen Kilgariff and Georgia Hardstark's book um, Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered and um, this one I believe is also available on Overdrive or Libby in uh, e-format and this one is just um, them telling uh, more continued stories and their experiences of wanting to get involved in uh, learning about true crime so we do have this book but um, if you're looking for a read alike I would highly recommend um, I'll Be Gone in the Dark and this one is by Michelle McNamara um, unfortunately she passed away a few years ago and didn't quite get to finish um, the the story but um, it was thanks to her uh, journalistic work that um, they were able to uh, catch the um, the Golden State Killer so this book just delves into her research it's really amazing in audiobook format as well that's how I um, read it or listen to it so yeah I would definitely recommend this one uh so the subtitle is one woman's obsessive search for the golden state killer she really it was like years and years of intensive research into the golden state killer so I'd recommend this one um another uh series that you might like and these are all based on popular podcasts on Spotify and um Apple as well so um the Stuff You Should Know, this is another one where a podcaster has written a book about their podcast. And it's Stuff You Should Know, an incomplete compendium of mostly interesting things. And it's by Josh Clark and Chuck Bryant with Niles Parker. And um, so yeah, this one just delves into stories of uh, like random things that you should know or would probably be interested in knowing about. And so if you're if you like that podcast, uh, a book I would recommend is called A Walk Around the Block. Um, and this one is by Spike Carlson, and it's where the author simply walks around his neighborhood and um, just looks into the mundane parts of life that you never would have thought of like how does a fire hydrant work and that sort of thing so this one is really fun it um, is in like short little snippets that you can it's easily digestible and just to learn about things that uh, we maybe take for granted or that you never would have thought about the history of so my second last podcast now this is arguably one of the most popular if not the most popular podcast and it has been for years and years and years i think um joe rogan is the, like one of the original podcasters and um as far as i know joe rogan hasn't written a book about his podcasting but i have a couple of recommendations if you like the joe rogan experience so the first one is uh not a book but it is a video game and this one is the ps4 of ufc4 of course joe rogan got his um start in media with uh ufc and then because Joe Rogan has been such a popular podcaster and obviously has done very well for himself, I wanted to um, share some books that might uh, encourage folks to start their own podcast. So this one is called Profit From Your Podcast, Proven Strategies to Turn Listeners Into a Livelihood. And this one is by Dave Jackson, who is the um, a host of the podcast School of Podcasting. So this one will help you learn about um, how, how to actually make money from your podcast. And then another popular um, podcast, of course, just like Media Empire, is NPR's po Podcast Startup Guide. And um, this one is by Glenn Weldon. And yeah, it's similar to the last one, just going into how, how you actually start and finish um, a podcast and how to go about it. So there's lots of um, great info in here. So if you're looking to start one up, 
I'd recommend this one. And then lastly, a little bit of a silly podcast is um, the, oh, sorry, not lastly, I have one more after this one, uh, Office Ladies. And that one is, of course, from uh, two of the characters from the American version of The Office. And another book that is uh, talks about um, a TV sitcom is I'll Be There For You, the one about friends. And um, this one is, uh, yeah, it just tells the story of like the background work and um, different scenes and stuff that happen on the show Friends. So that one, if you're interested, of course, the classic couch is on the cover. Um, and then lastly, I do have, um, for anybody who's interested in TED Talks, TED Talk daily oh my goodness um so that one of course is just little snippets of ted talk so they're um often motivational speakers informative presentations on a variety of topics um so the one i would recommend for that is called the science of storytelling why stories make us human and how to tell them better by will store and um, this one i thought was a great recommendation for the ted talks daily just because it um encourages readers to uh, hone in on their storytelling techniques and how to um, convey messages, especially if you're giving a presentation to a big group of people. So that one, we have lots of stuff in our collection on storytelling or writing even for that matter. So if you're looking for more recommendations, be sure to um, contact your branch staff. Um, so thank you for listening to my podcast book recommendations. Um, and if you haven't done so already, we do have a podcast with uh, Vancouver Island Regional Library and it's called Meet Me in the Stacks. And you can find it where you listen to podcasts or you can find further information on our website at virl.bc.ca. Thanks.